Hey everybody, it's Larry here, the youth pastor at First United Methodist Church in Rockwall, and I just wanted to take a few minutes out of your day right now to talk about something I think a lot of us are struggling with, which is making plans and planning ahead and setting goals for ourselves. Because maybe you're like me and you're a planner. You like to plan out your week, you like to think ahead about what goals you want to achieve for yourselves. And man, COVID-19 is just really wrecking that for all of us, right? Maybe there was something you wanted to achieve in your work or your personal life, and then COVID-19 just made that impossible for you to do. Maybe you had plans to get together with a group of people to celebrate a birthday, and COVID-19 made that really difficult to do. Maybe you had a family trip planned, but to get from point A to point B, you had to fly in an airplane, and that just didn't feel safe for you right now. Or maybe you're like so many of our students, whether in middle school or high school or college, and you want to go back to school in person, but for various reasons that just doesn't seem safe. Or maybe you are going back in person, but it's a weird hybrid model and nothing really feels the same. I mean, everything with COVID-19 just makes all the plans and goals we want to set for ourselves just feel like they're impossible to attain. And so in the middle of this situation where we can't seem to really think forward in a meaningful way, I wanted to lift up just one verse of scripture that I think might be helpful for some of you. I know it's been helpful for me and for many of our teenagers as well. It comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 9. And I'll be reading from the Common English Bible, which is a version of our Bible that many teenagers love because anyone can read this Bible. If you've gone through fifth grade, this is written at a fifth grade reading level, so it's very accessible and very straightforward. Proverbs 16.9 in the Common English Bible says, People plan their path, but the Lord secures their steps. People plan their path, but the Lord secures their steps. And what I find interesting here is that there's the, the two pieces we have, right? We have people like you and me. We plan out our paths. We set our goals. We figure out how we're going to do things. But then it's the Lord who secures our steps. It's the Lord who sets our steps in motion and makes them secure as we go out on that path. Now, there's a few different ways of thinking about this passage that I find interesting. Uh, one common assumption is that what this passage is really saying is that it doesn't matter what I plan or you plan, ultimately God's going to get God's way. And I think that there might be some truth to that, but I think that there's another way of understanding this passage that I find helpful, and it all goes back to the original Hebrew. In the Hebrew language, what God does is God secures, and in Hebrew, the actual literal word for that is kun. And kun in Hebrew means to establish or to make firm. So this is kind of an architectural or a building term, right? Maybe an architect has a blueprint for a building, say the temple in Jerusalem, and then the builders come and they make it firm. They make it steady, they make it strong, so that no matter what winds come, no matter what storms come, no matter what earthquakes happen, that building is gonna be firm. And that's what this passage is saying that the Lord does with our plans. We plan out our path, but it's the Lord who makes them firm and well-established and strong and steady. The Lord secures our steps. And to me, that doesn't just mean that I make a plan and then God's going to come back me up no matter what my plan is. I think if I have a terrible plan or a misguided plan, God doesn't have to secure my steps, right? As many of us know, sometimes the best answer that God can give to our prayers is no or not yet. So I don't think this is saying that whatever you plan is going to come to fruition. What I do think it's saying is that if you have a plan that you really want to achieve, one of the best things you can do is go to the Lord to ask the Lord to secure your steps, to help you in that path, to really guide you and to make sure that you arrive at that goal safely and securely, and also to make sure that whatever it is you want to achieve is God honoring as well. And so whatever goals you're setting up for yourself as we enter this new school year, I pray the Lord guide you and keep you. And I would like to conclude this time of devotional today with just a quick prayer about that, if you don't mind. So however you're listening to this devotional, I invite you to just pause and take a moment to pray with me. Dear Lord, for all the people who are listening to this devotional online, I pray that you may be with them. I pray that you may give them a sense of hope, Lord, that even in the midst of everything going on in our world, you have still given us the ability to make plans and to set goals for ourselves. Lord, for any who feel despair, I just pray that they know the hope that comes from their relationship with you. Lord, for all those who do have goals and plans, I pray that their goals and plans may be God-honoring. I pray that they may lift those goals up to you, Lord, so that you may take them, so that you may secure their steps to guide them forward into a future that is a future that is better for them, 
for all of us and for you, Lord, for we want to honor you in all that we say and do. And so, Lord, I lift up these prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks for listening, friends, and I hope all y'all have a fantastic week. Bye.